Hey Moon Babies! Today I have for you a review video of a bunch of stuff I got from Shein and not only am I gonna be reviewing the stuff that I bought but I'm gonna show you how to style them together not only with each other but with items that you probably have sitting around in your closet. So in outfit number one we've got two items from the haul and that is this rust brown graphic sweater and matching I guess satiny but it's not satin looks a little bit like satin satiny brown skirt the sweater feels soft and fuzzy inside it's not cotton it feels like I almost want to say a little bit plasticky because it's made from polyester so oh my gosh people could you drive more quietly the skirt it is beautiful I do not love the feel of the fabric. Um, I can tell it's gonna wrinkle easily. Uh, it feels sort of like 90s prom dress material if you've ever felt that. Do you know what I mean? You might know what I mean. Um, the color is really pretty though. I really love the color and it's shimmery, catches light nicely. And I almost forgot to mention this first outfit is actually made of three items because completing the outfit is this simple chunky headband. I actually find it very comfortable to wear and it does not give me headaches so that's a plus. So a trend that's pretty popular right now and I've seen it around a lot is to pair a satin skirt with a sweater in the same color to make a monochrome look from head to toe. Not only does it make you look really put together when it's done right but it's very lengthening so if you want to look a bit taller a little bit thinner up to you this might be a good look for you to try to make the sweatshirt a bit more cropped and tidy looking i've used a belt inside the sweater and tucked the edges of the sweater up inside so for a slightly different chic look you could also switch out the graphic sweater and change to black turtleneck and black accessories to match so it's a little bit more of a dressed up elegant look a little bit older but still very on trend and you can do it simply with accessories that you've got around okay so for the next outfit we have again two pieces another flowy skirt on camera it looks a little more orangey brown but in real life it's closer to a rose like a dusty rose color. I had actually ordered it in a champagne, but by the time my order was ready to be sent to me, they said it was all sold out. So I picked the next best color. That said, the fabric of the skirt is way nicer. I really like this one a lot more. Um, it feels better to the touch. It's heavier, it has more weight to it. It drapes more nicely over the body. It isn't bias cut, but it feels bias cut. It really does look really nice on. It also seems to wrinkle fairly easily. I really hate clothes that wrinkle easily. I try to avoid it, but I have a tiny steamer, so it'll do. The other item, and I <laughs> really don't want to use this word because it sounds dopey, but I've heard that that's what these are called. It's a shacket. <laughs> which is like a shirt jacket. I feel like a dumbass calling something a shacket. But anyway, look at my shacket. I've seen these around and I've been wanting to try one, but the ones on Shein weren't quite as long as I wanted. So I had a little trick up my sleeve. I went over to the tall section and bought it from there. I wanted it to be more of like a duster style, maybe around knee length or a little longer, but the ones in the regular height section, they seem to be ending at like mid thigh, but I think it looks a lot nicer, a little bit longer. So yeah, I got it from the tall section. Sorry tall people, I stole your clothes. So anyway, the fabric feels really nice actually. It's heavy, it feels soft, it doesn't feel itchy. So I'm pairing these two items with a cream top and accessories in the same color. Since both the jacket and the skirt are flowy, in order to make the outfit look tidy, we're gonna make the top fitted to add balance. I added a chunky gold necklace. It's from Pilgrim, which is a mid-range Danish jewelry company, and the shoes are from H&M. If you like the rose skirt, but you're not a fan of the jacket or you want something a little bit more academic looking let's say uh, you can switch out the shacket 
to a plaid blazer or a regular dark colored blazer and get more of a like an academia look. So this plaid blazer is from H&M and we're adding in another item from the haul, which is this black chunky headband and it was $4. Totally feeling like I'm channeling 90s Hillary vibes in this. I dig it. Okay. So two more items for this outfit. First off, there is a nice crisp button up shirt. I really like the mock neck style of this shirt. It's like a tapered line at the armhole rather than like the straight up sleeveless you often see. To me, it looks much more flattering on the shoulders. It gives your shoulders a more square look. I don't love the bell shape of this top. You can see that it kind of goes out. It gets very wide at the bottom, but I tuck all my shirts in regardless. So it's not a deal breaker. Fabric of this shirt feels really lovely and stiff and it feels well made. It's from the MOTF section on the site. Things over there are a bit more expensive or in some cases quite a bit more expensive um, but this top wasn't that much more expensive and the quality went up quite a bit. And there's sirens. Again. What were they gonna say? I s <laughs> They're just doing it to taunt me at this point. I swear to god. Think of Junko. The second item from this outfit that is from the haul is this brown plaid skirt. The skirt is a really nice mix of colors. It has both warm and cool brownish tones in it and a bit of yellow. However, I'm not a fan exactly of the material. It feels soft and all, but it feels like the same material that like plaid button-up shirts are made out of, like the flannel shirts, um, which is fine for a shirt. But when you're buying uh, a plaid pleated skirt, you want something with a little bit stiffer fabric so that it holds the pleats well and so that it falls in a nice line. So you kind of want this one to be more structured feeling and this one falls short in that aspect. There's such a difference between the skirts that I've bought from Shein and you can never tell by looking at the photos which type it's gonna be. So, good luck. <laughs> Overall, it's not bad though. So a third item that's going into this outfit that I got in this haul is this simple black stretchy beret. Nothing outstanding or that different about it other than I've bought a few berets in the past that barely squeezed over my head. <laughs> Guess I have a big head. And this one fit well. It's not super stretchy, but it has a little bit of give to it. It was a steal of a deal at $4 and they have a million colors, any color you want. So I might actually go back and get a few more. The black blazer is just a crushed black velvet blazer from H&M. I really, really don't like this blazer. It's a pain in the ass to make this blazer look neat. So if it comes off looking kind of frumpy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've learned my lesson in the future if I'm gonna buy velvet, I'm not gonna be going cheap on it. This one wrinkles so easily. I digress. For another version of this look, we're gonna switch out the boots to some sneakers and some ankle socks. I added a black vest over the shirt and a cream jacket on top. Both of them are from H&M. To continue the sportier look, I added a beige ball cap. I've been loving ball caps lately and a quilted purse. Outfit four. So for this outfit, the items from the Shein haul were this crisp white t-shirt, which is a staple in everybody's wardrobe. <laughs> Why can't I make sentences? It's a staple in everybody's wardrobe or should be. Works with everything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Some simple black text in a nice font. Works wonders. So this shirt, cute, simple, feels super soft. One problem though is that after I washed it, I did notice that it started to bunch a little around the neck. Yeah, you see that? Not cool. So just keep that in mind when buying t-shirts from Shein. It kind of takes away from like the tidy, elegant look if it doesn't sit straight. Even though it is just a simple t-shirt, you want it to look really clean and having that bunching 
around the hem. It doesn't uh, doesn't do that. So next up is these mom jeans. I won't lie, when I first tried these jeans, I did not like them. <laughs> they were really stiff, which is usually a good thing with jeans, but they seem to be stiff in all the wrong ways because they were loose in some areas and tight in the others. So they made my butt look super flat and my thighs look like sausages and somehow it was still too loose around the waist. So I wasn't digging the look. Seriously, what the fuck is happening today in Ottawa? My battery is gonna die. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Yeah. So now that I've worn these a few times, they actually did soften up and start to take the shape of my body a little more. And now I quite enjoy them. The only thing I don't super love is that they are a little bit wide at the ankle for my liking. They're not super wide and they're not super skinny either. They just have this awkward sort of width. And I know that actually it's on trend right now to have a bit of a wider ankle but i find the shapes kind of awkward to style and i don't love it so i roll these up and take some of the emphasis away from that i may tailor it in a few centimeters not to make it skinny just to give it a little bit more of a taper for this look i brought back the plaid jacket <laughs> <laughs> that I showed you guys earlier. And this time we rolled up the sleeves to show off a watch with the outfit. I think a leather strapped sort of like menswear oversized watch would look really good with this outfit. But I'm wearing my regular silver and gold mixed colored one. Anyway, the point is show off some jewelry on your wrists or whatever accessories you're wearing. I also added a simple leather belt and some contrasting sole Chelsea boots. I've been loving Chelsea boots. They go with so many outfits. They look really cool. I especially love the ones with the sort of pull-up straps, not only on the back, but on the front. It's a cool little detail. And I got these from H&M. I actually had just about bought some from Mango. They looked almost exactly the same. And then I tried these ones at H&M and they fit well, they were comfortable, and I really liked them. So I actually returned the order from Mango and kept the H&M ones. Really enjoyed them. Not usually a super fan of H&M shoes. A lot more often than not, they're not super comfortable, but these ones are pretty good. So anyway, yeah, belt, boots, both from H&M, and a neutral purse again to complete the look. I believe the purse is also from H&M. Guys, I can't, I can't decide whether I should keep all my bangs in the front like this or like get rid of most of them and just keep a few. Someone who's good at hair, tell me. Another really classic way to style these jeans that looks elegant pulled together but is still comfortable and you can wear it anywhere is to pair it with another cropped sweater like a regular sweater worn cropped like I showed you earlier. This is the second sweater I got from the haul. So this sweater is the same material as the one from earlier. It's got the soft and fuzzy inside and that same sort of weird plasticky scuba material feel outside. It's not that bad but I just wanted you to know that it doesn't feel like a regular cotton sweatshirt because it's polyester. I really love uh, the stitching on this one differently from the last sweater. This one has stitching that makes the letters rather than a printed graphic. It says some nonsense on it, but nobody really notices it. What does it say? France youth humor fox behavior. I don't know what kind of message I'm sending to the world, but when do I ever anyway? The stitching rather than the printed graphic looks a lot more like chic and elegant. And even though it's a sweatshirt, I feel like you can have more of a, like a grown up pulled together look with this one. So therefore, when we pair it with some like just regular old mom jeans, it sort of elevates the look just a little bit. So you can be both comfortable, but also classy. To make the sweater sit more neatly, uh, using the same trick as before, with the belt tucked underneath to hold the sweater sort of up. 
If you have a purse that's a bit more of a statement piece, this is a good outfit to pair it with because the outfit is very minimal, it's very simple, so it can handle accessories that are a little louder to draw the attention. They're not fighting with each other. You should always pair, or at least in my opinion, you should loud accessories with simple outfits vice versa so that you know where to focus the attention for. You can also just stick with the classics and keep it simple head to toe and use the same like neutral purse like I showed you before. Another cute way to style these jeans, we're gonna switch the Chelsea boots out for white tennis shoes or trainers. I've added a white mock neck tank top but a white t-shirt like the one I showed you earlier would also work nicely here. I grabbed the plaid blazer that I showed you and layered it on over top. I accessorized it with the same chunky gold necklace that I showed you before, the same beige baseball cap, and the same purse. I switched the belt to beige also, but the black one would have worked fine as well. Whatever you have, whatever you like. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this haul. I hope that I gave you some ideas about how to introduce new items to your wardrobe and get lots of use out of them, pairing them with different items. Like I said, if you want uh, a deeper dive into creating capsule wardrobes, or if you want a deeper dive into any specific style, like dark academia, or the modern really simple elegant sort of neutral style or I've been really interested in like Korean inspired fashion style also I watch so many k-dramas and I'm really loving some of the fashion looks there or if you want me to cover some tips of how to blend styles because I find it personally hard to stick to one fashion style and I end up with a million things in my closet that don't match also. So I had to think about how I could make everything that I like sort of work together, what sort of color palettes I could use, how to blend the pieces to make a cohesive look. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below and I will try to make a video on that also. Thank you for watching. If you've gotten anything out of this video, please give it a like and if you want to see more from me, you can hit this subscribe button and the bell to let you know when I post because pretty much just post when I feel like it when I've got the <laughs> mental energy to do it so I will let you go for now thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this and see you back here soon goodbye moon babies